Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today in What The Hey, I'm once again answering yet another question. When I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of, what the hey is Godzilla? Now this question was asked by Mr. 2007, so hello to you and thank you very much for another question. Now, in terms of a very basic description, Godzilla is an extremely famous Japanese monster that has been shown in various different films. I'll go ahead and list the three main names that are credited with creating Godzilla in terms of both the character and the first movie, which I'll mention later. But some of them are like the creator and co-creator, as well as the person who created the character overall. So if you want to say thank you to anyone, they're the ones that did it. In terms of some nicknames for Godzilla, there's both Kaiju as well as King of the Monsters. And Kaiju is kind of a very broad general term for very famous horror Japanese monsters. It can refer to both like Japanese film monsters as well as just monsters in general, but that's one of the main names. And then King of the Monsters is kind of just a nickname in regards to like all the monsters that Godzilla has had to fight besides humans. There's a bunch of other monsters that are introduced, specifically King Kong is one of them. But Godzilla is pretty big, so the nickname makes sense. In terms of defining what the actual creature of Godzilla is, most of the time people will say it's a mix of like a gorilla, a whale, and a dinosaur. I mainly just assumed it was a dinosaur, but with like the origins of the name of Godzilla, gorillas in there as well, which kind of makes sense because gorillas are strong. Um, So that's what it is apparently. The origins of Godzilla usually tend to be that Godzilla comes from the sea and either defends or fights against humanity depending on what you're seeing Godzilla in. But Godzilla has a lot to do with like nuclear power which I'll go into more in a second. Uh, But a lot of people kind of also attribute the origins to the fact that like Hiroshima and Nagasaki got bombed um, in World War II and that like Godzilla got some of its powers from that. So there's just a few different theories as to where Godzilla came from to begin with. But as I already kind of mentioned, some of the powers that Godzilla has range from speed, size is a big one, uh, regeneration, strength is also a big one, and then the one that a lot of people recognize Godzilla for is for like the atomic breath. Essentially what the atomic breath is, is like this laser beam, depending on what film you're seeing, of like nuclear power or some sort of fire that can like destroy pretty much anything, which is crazy. Which also relates to the only way to really defeat Godzilla in most cases is to have some sort of nuclear power, like general guns and stuff don't do much because Godzilla has like scales and is protected for the most part because Godzilla is so big. Uh, So you have to have some sort of nuclear power to go against Godzilla in general, unless you're King Kong for some reason. The first time we're ever introduced to Godzilla in general is the movie Godzilla from 1954, and then the most recent film dedicated to Godzilla would be Godzilla vs. Kong, which was in 2021, and that was like a whole big thing, because people were debating, they're like, whose side are you on? Personally, I was on Godzilla's, because I just like dinosaurs. There have been multiple different movies that have been released over time for Godzilla, and then different characters associated in that fight with Godzilla. So if you don't want to watch the original or the newest, uh, there's other ones as well. Additionally, there's things like television shows, uh, literature, video games, and music that are kind of from and about Godzilla. So if you're not really into the movie kind of format, there's other choices. Going back to the early movies, the way they had to do Godzilla in general was have like an actor in a suit, which is so funny because if you look at the pictures and just the information that's centered around that, you get to see the people behind the suit, the actors for it, and specifically on Wikipedia and I'm sure other places as well, they have a list of the names of the people who did it, which is pretty cool. Because some of the people ended up doing like the Godzilla like suit and character for a long time, so I think that's cool. But of course with how we have like fancy technology now, Godzilla for the most part is just computer animated. uh, Which is super impressive because if you watch the newer movies, Godzilla looks super cool. Uh, So it's just kind of a different method now with how they make the movies. And then kind of in relation to movies again, Godzilla has its own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I've been over there and I don't think I saw it, but I must not have noticed it. But I didn't know that was a thing and that's so cool. But in terms of my general opinion, I think the whole concept and just the general film franchise for Godzilla is super cool. 
I have not watched all the films. There's so many. I definitely haven't like watched the original, but I've seen some of the newer stuff and I just think the whole transition from how they did stuff originally to now is so cool. Specifically, the whole atomic breath, like the transition of how that looks to now is so cool because there's like different parts of the movie where he like charges up the nuclear power. It just looks so cool and sounds so cool. I just got a bias because I like dinosaurs. I don't know. <laughs> Some of the characters that Godzilla goes against also are super cool, like there's one I can't remember the name of, but it kind of looks like it has wings and it has like three dragon heads, that one's kind of cool. And then of course one of the bigger ones, or more recent ones, is King Kong. Which again, I definitely think Godzilla is way more overpowered than King Kong. I feel like it's such an easy choice to go with. But that's essentially the answer to the question, so if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll get to answering them as soon as I can, so thank you very much for watching. Bye!